right, people, welcome back. More card reviews. So today we are looking at one of the two new Lightsworn spell card. The Lightsworn are getting some new support combined with a little bit of their Twilight Swing and a little bit of banishing instead of milling. So they got two new spell cards that we will be looking at today and Wednesday. So today we are looking at, in my opinion, the better of the two. So this card right here is called March of Darkness. That card is really cool. It really is. Like, all the light swarms walking forward, they look badass as hell. So, uh, I mean, I give you A plus for the card, but let's go ahead and look at the card's effect. So, it's a normal spell card that reads, target one light sworn monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand, then banish cards from the top of your deck equal to that monster's original level. You can only activate one March of Darkness per turn. So, it would be nice if it said that you've milled, you know, I'm still not... A big fan of this whole Twilight Sworn thing, of course, you know, banishing the cards off the top of your deck means that hopefully you'll banish some Light Sworn monsters and you can summon that Punishment Dragon, but really, who gives a shit about Punishment Dragon? But he will get a little bit of attention in the card that we're looking at on Wednesday. Um, but it is nice that you can go ahead and recur your monsters. You can go ahead and even now, you use this one card to target a Light Sworn monster, you're going to add it back to your hand. So, unlike, you know, Solar Re... I mean... Monster Reincarnation or Beckoning of Light, you do not neg. But my big gripe, and the biggest gripe of all, and the reason why, while it is the third best spell under Solar Recharge and Charge of Light Brigade, which of course are much better cards, uh, and why this card, in my opinion, really doesn't stack up to Monster Reincarnation and Beckoning of Light, is the fact that I had to target a Light Swarm monster and grab that back. I can't grab back JD, and of course, I would love to grab back JD. That's really the whole reason why you play cards like Monster Reincarnation and, you know, Beckoning of Light. So you can, you know, grab back your boss monster. This card can't grab back your boss monster. At best, maybe you can, you know, grab back a Ride in the Middle a little bit. Maybe grab back a Lila, pop back girl, grab back a Lumina, and, you know, pitch, summon, make a Michael. And those plays are all fine and all, but... There's no comparison to grabbing back a JD, summoning that motherfucker, wiping the whole field, summoning another JD and another JD, especially if you, you know, you beckoning of light sent everything in your hand and grab back light monsters from your graveyard equal to the amount that you sent. JD, 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 BLS, you know, uh, you can't do that with this card. So that's where I'm going to have to definitely dock at points, you know. While it's nice that, yes, you do even out, you know, you use this one card to grab back one light swan, you even out the banishing on top, the cards from the top of your deck, that's not anything, you know. If anything, it just kind of sucks if you're not playing any Twilight Swans, because you might be milling some JDs or anything good along those lines. But I think I would rather take the neg in both Monster Reincarnation and Beckoning of Light if that means that I can grab that JD and use my boss monster, you know, my skillless trash boss monster dot deck with Judgment Dragon to go for game. So, uh, I can definitely see some people playing this, but not before you would play Monster Reincarnation Beckoning. Like, I could see this played in, like, a 60-card White Sworn deck. And another thing, it'd be really nice if this card had some kind of graveyard banishing effect. That'd be really nice, too. Like, if this card in your graveyard, you could banish it to do something, you know. Add it on to make this worth a little bit more than Monster Reincarnation and, and Beckoning the Light, but hey, that's all I have to say about it. So, card is A1, but the effect uh, has a little bit yet to be desired, because I can't grab back JD. So, anyway, tell me what you guys think of March of Darkness in the comment section below, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this card review. If you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and suggest them in the comment section below. we got plenty of cards to look at. There's so many cards coming out each day week and so and on and on and on so the pile just keeps getting larger larger so we still got plenty to look at so if you already hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell for notifications i hope you guys are enjoying the content on the channel you guys know that i work my ass off so uh thank you guys for the support and i will see you guys on wednesday looking at another light spell card for card review all right people thanks for watching